that's a bizarre emote for that, but uh, okay. <laughs> um, it says you're offline. Yeah, I know. The the stream ate it for a moment, and I have no idea why. Okay. Double pointer. And then we stuff... Okay, there we go. This should be happier. Er. Not the happiest, but happier. And this needs to do that. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I wonder how long I was live before that. I'm kind of sad that it always resets my uh, live timer every time that happens. But, oh well. Okay, so we get the double pointer, which points to... Okay, good. Here you can see it points to a created memory space that hasn't been initialized yet. We then call new on that pointer. And if we look at the cell array at zero, it now contains all the right data which is as it should be. So now, also my pointer arithmetic is unnecessary, yada 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 would be better. Uh, that, you are correct. Yeah, and since it's all in one place, I actually don't feel like I need it in two different lines. Ah, da -da, bump, bump, bump. I mean, granted, they do the same thing in the end, uh, but it's still... Um... <laughs> RDM Forest, there's a big difference be between uh, simple intro classes and some of the crazy stuff I'm doing, but that's partially because, uh, A, I've got a talking compiler here in chat, which is awesome, and B, uh, I've got a fair bit of experience with doing some of this stuff. So... Um, it's not the craziest stuff, and you'll kind of come to understand much better what's going on as you take more classes. Uh, this may look crazy now, but this is actually kind of par for the course. Actually, it's, eh, it's a little crazy, but it's still par for the course uh, in some cases as well. And as Danny Fritz says, yes, much better intent. This shows much cl more cleanly what I am trying to do, and that's something I try and drill into everyone's head, and honestly, um, it, every once in a while needs to be hammered back into my own head as well. So, um, I'm really glad though that this is progressing. Now, okay. let's see here. Generate mesh. So the cell array, we go through every single cell in the array. And our edges, ah, why are the edges still garbage? That's my only hang up at this point. Um, it looks... We have our cell, and the cell array looks mostly fine except for the fact like that the vertices and even the edges become garbage. What is going on here? Okay, so the edge array also has not a numbers inserted into it. Uh, it's like something's going wrong between step A and step B here. Uh, okay. The vert list, empty. Can you guys hear the tip top, tip top of the dog? I guess I can see its movement in the the sound bar, so it's not like it's totally out of... Wow. Side length, side length, that times cell size, yes. And then we say that's 1 over a resolution of 4, which makes sense. And then we say that is new, so this is now filled with good elements.
All right. Um, let's see here. So we're calling new. We're creating all these cells in memory. This is completely legit. Except, look at this. The moment we jump in and try and do... I think it's like the second cell. The moment we create the second cell, it might be doing some overwriting. That would be bizarre. Um, okay, so we create the first cell at a certain position. And all of its details inside are good. And that's fine. Now the moment we jump in and create another cell, and actually I need to double check here. Side length is four. Um, okay, so this is another new pointer that we're going to be filling in. You can see that's brand new created memory that hasn't been initialized yet. X is one, Y is zero. This all makes sense, mostly. <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't make complete sense because something's breaking. We have our vertices that we create. Um, so the only thought here is that... No, that wouldn't be the case. Because it should be... We have an existing vertex, and we say vertices i, which is incomplete at this point vert list plus one so that should be a pointer to the existing vertex yes then we add in our new element there's five elements in here now and if we look at the vertex list array pointer when we look at that fifth element it is a valid element so these are getting inserted correctly so we should have six elements at this point and they all look good all of these elements look pristine. Disable copy construction and assignment for your cell classes? Uh, yeah, I'll try that in a moment. Oh, sorry. Uh, careful. Try and beat you uh, the chat to it, but I don't know if the <laughs> the sound uh, overrode the speed at which I can type. Just try not to blast somebody's headphones out. Uh, get cell. Okay, um, so we grab our edge. If it's a null pointer, we generate a new one. And look at that. Uh, I think the cell edge is getting copy constructed and we're not doing that correctly. Because E, if you look at all of its vertices, are garbage. Or actually, no, one vertex is garbage. That's incredibly bizarre. Okay, vertices... Nope, it's not garbage. It's actually what's ended up in here somehow. Find edge by vertices. Cell edge. This shouldn't be modifying these anyway, so it's a safe thing to add to our cell edge. Specifically this, just so nothing's getting changed. More safeguards, the better. Um, did I put it on the wrong one? Yeah, I did. Um, what did I mean to put that on? <laughs> uh, find, oh, this. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's try disabling the copy constructor and assignment for the cell class and see if that lends us a hand at all uh, specifically. And the way we do that, uh, let's see, it's been so long since I've had to actually disable a copy constructor. Um, oh man, this is good. Uh, so what we're going to do, it's a cell that takes in another cell. And for now, we're just going to... So there's one disabled. Uh, actually, is that actually disabled or... Let's see. Yeah, that'll stop anything from copying cells specifically. Although, the question is, I think edges are really where I'm worried it's doing the, uh, the copy constructing. Uh, I don't think it's doing cell. Oh, screw it. Why not? Why not? Let's just turn them all off. Or turn off an, a fair number of them. I smell Pat say you. Yes, you do. Thank you, my sweet. Ah, okay. So we have one. Derp. Um, Cell.cpp has a edge copy constructor going on. That might be our culprit. Might. Uh, specifically, it might be doing it here. Um, would that... So let's see. So the possibility here is that it's not copying this crossline? That'd be weird. That's really weird. Cannot access private member though. Yeah, I mean. Uh, if we're doing the right hand, the, the R value like that. Oh, I didn't know C++11 had a very specific way to turn it off. That is really interesting. I'm learning all kinds of new stuff. Unfortunately, the company I used to work for would, we, we didn't even have access to C++11 features because there were parts of the build that were so far behind that um, it was so painful. They couldn't use like even newer stuff. A lot of people had to have Visual Studio 2005 installed and it's just such a ah, it was painful okay um cell cell edge cell <laughs> undisable that for a sec yeah it was painful it really was one of my projects at one point was to update as many projects as I could from 2005 to 2008. And even then, the pain, I'm telling you. And then E is the edge lists zero width. And then edges I, which let's edges is a cell edge pointer. Oh crap. Uh, let's see here. That is a cell edge pointer. Um, So edges I should, actually, you know, that's fine. That should give me, um, it's not really that the, the 
IDE was old, it's that we were stuck on an old compiler because of it. It wouldn't let us update to the most recent Windows toolset, which didn't allow us to use the new compilers. Without new compilers, we're still using the old, uh, you know, null preprocessor and all kinds of other stuff. So for me, working as a programmer at a company is a lot of fun. I enjoy it because programming is a, is a big hobby that I love. So it's not a big thing for me to go in every day and do my work. Now granted, when the work starts to slow down, it gets a little boring. But if you're in a good company, you shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> no, even at Google, they do a lot. They're constantly working at Google. Google especially, you should never be bored. I mean, hell, some guy started uh, Google Cardboard as a joke. What is Google Cardboard? It takes your phone, splits the screen in two halves, and it's a cardboard-mounted headpiece that you put your phone into that turns your phone into VR headset. It was a joke, and then it turned into a real project because of it, which is hilarious. Um, okay. Let's double check that this is right. So this is a pointer array. So pulling a, nope, this is fine. This should be fine. And then I take E, which has its good numbers. And I'm going to step, I'm actually gonna dump a, eh, do I want a breakpoint there? We'll put a breakpoint here just to see. So now we add the second element in. B is now equal to this new element. And then we say, okay, if we look at E, well actually if we look at edges I, you have one good pointer, which still points to good data. And this all looks fine. And at the end of this whole thing, there are, I, I can't find a single, not a number. Or at least, yeah, uh, this all looks perfectly fine. Um, yeah, those look good. And if I look at the edge, let's see, the edge list here, you should have four objects, which I'll have good, okay, you have good data. Um, the vertex list looks fine. The edge list looks fine. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, edges, you have not a number edges. Okay. So it's somewhere between this first and second object getting instantiated that something's going wrong. And I'm guessing it probably is that copy constructor going through and failing to set up correctly. Or, I don't know, it, it, this is a really bizarre bug to have run into.
I plus one mod four. Hmm. Rippy. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. There's got to be something. Um. <laughs> So, can I? We the reason I'm not using community is because I don't see much of a need to. Um, would require me to do the whole IDE reinstallation, and I I look at most of the plugins and I don't feel a need to use them. And that's really the big upgrade that I see that community has that Express doesn't. And I just don't see myself using many, if all any of the the plugins provided. So I just I haven't swapped over. I do not see a need to. Do you like create edges accidentally? No. You don't. Um, in your edge list, find edge by vertices, and we go through and we just return edge list plus i, which is correct. That gives me a cell edge pointer. And this edge list is fine because this is just the reference of this edge list here that's out here. Yeah. Ah, somewhere in here this is getting damaged. I also feel like I've run into this before and have done something similar to this, and yet, let's see, um, okay, so if we take this copy constructor, and let's just use the new syntax, just so I get used to it. Cannot access private member. Do you put that in the public space? That'd be bizarre. Uh, attempting to reference a deleted function. Oh, interesting. Okay. Huh. Okay, so we have our removed copy constructor. And that's happening here. Um, except that this isn't going to be the way I want to do this, obviously. Um, Oh, it's still doing the, the copy construction there, and that's fine. Um, edge list is not getting deallocated, no. Um, yeah, if edge list were getting deallocated, I'm pretty sure we'd see every edge getting tossed out, as opposed to it looks like only some of the data is being damaged on, on the way through. Um, so this would be not this. Let's see, um, cell edge pointer e. Well, Death Cobra, I can tell you right now, it looks worse than it actually is. Uh, right now I'm just kind of struggling with this, um,
Now obviously this isn't going to take because it still is a copy constructor. But, um, what? No appropriate default constructor. Cell edge, I'm pretty sure. Oh, doesn't have a default constructor. And honestly, that's fine. Um, let's see. You can call the function. Do I have dangling references? I don't. I, I don't think I do. Because if you look at the cell constructor, La La Land. Um, let's see here. So the terrain generator. I don't know why that was not in here. That was bizarre. Um, what happened here? Oh, right, what? Yeah, right, okay, never mind. Let's undo this, this is now empty again. Because nobody's using this, that's why. I don't know why I even have that file open still. Um, edge list, let's see, let's check where edge list comes from. That is a good point. So edge list, uh, -bum 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 -bum. okay, so we say build terrain, we create the cell group, that passes into here. Here's our edge array which is edge list in other worlds and that's inside the cell system and the cell system has already been completely allocated has it yeah. not it's just kind of cold at the moment I'll, I'll eat more later um, so let's see the cell system has been initialized we call create cell group and this is a member of cell system so that then steps into the constructor here and this honestly this reference should be good all the way through here it is passing into the cell at which point inside the cell is where we do all this crazy stuff with it we're inserting new edges into it that should all be fine because it's a member variable it shouldn't really expire as far as I would imagine um, sorry do that you stop it no appropriate default constructor available yes I know that I know I know I know um hmm okay <laughs> edge list plus this is E and that's a pointer that should be fine this would return a pointer but then it's using the the default constructor and I'd rather it not do that because then I can't set um, I can't set the the member variables in the then again if it's getting copy constructed anyway it's not like it's a big deal okay so my only thought at this moment is that maybe maybe it's somewhere in that copy constructor that we're copying a, a variable and then or we're copying a pointer and then modifying the innards of that pointer but it just seems so bizarre that that is the case E, e set cell. Hmm. Tempted to write an initialize function for E and then just have it initialize separately. Use that pointer. And kind of keep going from there. First off, that was dumb. <laughs> Secondly, it still has no appropriate default constructor, which... Mm -hmm. 
I wish I could do this. <laughs> Let it also pass back the existing edge list element instead of saying, well, this is kind of the way they expect it to get done, but now we don't have the... <sighs> Okay, the R value is a move, so it should be moving the pointer data from one to the other, which should be keeping that data inside the pointer intact. But our clue here is that it says it's deleted, right? Let's just double check this, and of course you're going to complain, so let's undelete this for a sec <laughs> just so I can double check I because I don't honestly recall anymore whether or not that was deleted memory or deleted looking memory so let's double check that real quick uh, we say sort vertices all of this looks good here's our edge list with four things the second time it now has eight elements and okay there's our not a numbers so this is clearly damaged at this point and if I let it crash, it is crashing where our current cell is being passed into uh, here. And when we say get edges, these all look like valid memory locations that are one after another. This is the really weird part. But then if you look at these memory values, they're marked with the D, which means that they've been, or at least the engine thinks they've been deallocated without having been cleaned up yet. Which kind of supports that one of these, one or both of these arrays are getting deallocated at some point. Cell group. Generate mesh. Is there any coffee left? No. There's never any coffee left when you need it. Cell groups. And the vertex array looks fine. In fact, if we... Uh, let's see here. I don't want that. I actually want vertex array, the array pointer, copy expression, says there's like 25 elements in there. Uh, let's see if we can find the... Let's play find the garbage. If there is any. Okay, so this array looks fine. The entirety of it looks pretty darn good. That's not 100%, but that's still pretty darn good. The edge array has 53 edges in it. Let's see, for for 25 vertices, um, if there are 25 vertices, there should also be 25 edges, not 53. But then again, it's also the zero width Okay, your garbage, your garbage, as are all your cell data, which looks like it got generated once and then never updated. Okay, shot in the dark here. But, and I hate doing this, but we'll see if this ends up working out for us. There we go. Because this will give us a hint as to whether or not we're uh, actually damaging our data with that copy constructor or whether or not we can get a pointer back, fill in that pointer, and it'll be good to go later. 
Um, okay. Cell edge initialize. You shouldn't really be necessary at this point, but we'll keep it just in case. Um, cell. Sorry, guys. Don't. Maybe he won't bark now, question mark? We'll see. We'll see. I am unsure. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say add element, and this is going to give us a pointer. And then we are going to take that pointer, call initialize, and just hand it all those things which we had before. Um, and the hope is that if this is done right, uh, oh, we need to give it a default constructor. Uh, cell edge, sure, do nothing. Um, ah, 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 Apollo, quiet. Attempting to reference a deleted function. What? Where are you trying to reference a deleted function now? in cell.cpp somewhere. Uh, cell edge. Uh, I don't... I don't see where that's happening. Cell edge. Attempting to reference a deleted... Where the heck is it doing that? Um, well, anywhere that add element is getting called. Ooh, although that's going to be overkill because it's obviously got all the engine stuff included. Not what I want. Cell. Add element edge. Um, that's a cell edge pointer though, so that shouldn't be calling a copy constructor. Am I sure the point to D uh, pointers are staying valid? That is a good thing to double check. That is definitely a good thing to check. Uh, cell vertices, let's see here, find element, cell vertices I, oh crap? Mm. So this should be fine as well. But once again, we're kind of getting into the, the crazy semantics that, that are going on here. So this add element should add the point 2D to the list. And then we should be able to grab it based on that vertex. We just use the list plus the index and that should give us a pointer back. And that is not a pointer that should really expire. Especially since this is putting a point 2D into this add element question is where the heck does it think I'm referencing 
Where, where the heck does it think I'm using it? Although, then again, it might not think I'm... It might not actually be calling the function, it's just saying, hey, I can't use this function. Let's look at this again. Once more with feeling. So the vertices are supposedly getting deallocated, so are the cells. So it's not just the vertices, but it's the entirety of whatever this edge thinks it's attached to. What's funny is the rest of the data in here is intact, right? You can see the, ele the elevation is surviving, the center is surviving, and then the edges and vertices, which look like perfectly valid pointers. Well, actually, I don't know. That's a funny set of addresses. Oh, my God. I hate when crap like this happens. <laughs> um... So you would think that since the edges are being added in a different method, that the edges would be generating, like one of them would be get generating good data while the other one's generating garbage. You would think that would be the case. Especially because of the way we're doing this. This should be staying especially valid. And the edges in the edge list are still valid, as far as I can tell, right? Let's stare at the crash again for a moment. Uh, if we look at the edge array, the edge array says it's empty? What? What? Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Um, the edge array should be empty. This is a different edge array. Ugh. I should have named that somewhat differently. Less unfortunately. Ugh. Um, okay, before I call generate mesh... Generate. Generate mesh. Thank you. Before I call that, it's part of the cell group creation. When you create a cell group, Is that just a really poorly placed... Oh my god, really? Wait, wait. <laughs> Generate mesh specifically. Who's calling this? You're not a good place. Um... I need to make sure somebody is calling this generate mesh function. Is that the right place to do this? Yes, that really is. That's, I think, the best place to be doing this. Range, center, array, these are all fine. The cells are surviving the entire transition too, right? It's just, uh, let's look at the cells inside the cell group, right? You are full of valid information that looks fine. It's simply your edges and your vertices. Those are the two things that look like garbage. And if we double check what the vertex array says, these pointers should be valid. In fact, here's a pointer location that we can use to try and maybe track this down. Um, dump, 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 
scratch paper. Come here. Um, eight, 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 one, two, zero. Okay, so that is a valid position, and the first cell in this cell group should be using that vertex, but it's not. I think I have to follow this and watch where some of these are getting allocated and deallocated and what some of these pointers are actually pointing to because otherwise otherwise I don't think I'm ever going to catch this. Um, okay, so cell vertices. It, you can tell these are on the stack. Well, can you? These look like they're on the stack because you can see this is a relatively low number in comparison to some of the other numbers that are going to come along later. And so because these look like they're on the stack, they would be very obvious if we started to copy these over. So our vertex list now has an element at 5030. Although granted, this is going to change too, now that I think about it, because this vertex list is going to get updated repeatedly. But we'll, we'll do our best to follow this and see where it goes. So 0580580530, and that is our first vertex position. Oh, crap. That's what's going on. I think I know what's happening. When we add elements, let's see here. If this reserved count changes, how does it move all the information to the new pointer? That's the question. So, okay, our count go, is going from 4 to 5. And if we look at our, let's see here, we have a new pointer and a current pointer. So our array pointer is pointing here, and we've got, how many, okay, we've got four elements. So uh, array point er. Chakra and King Elizabeth, I am fighting with a crazy bug, so this is going to be in code that's a little more, uh, I guess, in-depth and a little more confusing than usual. Um, this isn't the norm. It's just tonight I'm doing a major rewrite on my train system, which is causing me to dig through parts of the system that I'm not used to working with. Um, let's see here. So we, we allocate a new pointer. And then we look at the old pointer. And it looks like it just copies across all the... Let's see here. The new pointer is at 5180. So what I think is happening here is it's moving the information when it's reallocating these. And because the pointers, oh god, yeah, that's totally what's happening. Oh my god, I didn't think of this. Dynamic arrays are biting me in the hind end. So, um, allow me to show with this. If you this. tell those things to stay off your hind end, that's mine. <laughs> uh, allow me to show with art, with art, my wonderful, wonderful art. You guys now get to experience more MS Paints. Okay, so we've got the array as it's allocated, and it starts with four elements in it. And when I create a cell, this is our cell, and this is our vertex array. What's happening is the cell has its array as well, and each one of these Let's say this starts at like OX580. And it says, okay, 
I need an element here, an element, damn it, <laughs> my straight lines aren't straight enough. And good enough. Okay, so what happens is it's storing these addresses in in the cell. So the cell now has 580, 581, 582, on and on, all the way down, right? So it's got these numbers. Those don't really matter so much as the first one. Well, they all matter, I guess, because they're all garbage. So when I add a fourth or a fifth element into this array, it doesn't have enough memory for this element to exist. So what it does is it allocates more elements. Well, it doesn't just allocate more elements. It allocates an entire new array of eight, right? Because this one was only four. So it can't hold everything we need. So one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. It doesn't really matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Although I'm going to be a little pain about it. Okay. And this is at a completely new um, address. So say the old one's at 580. This one will be at 610. Um, and what's going to happen is it's going to copy each of these elements down here. so that all the new elements are in here and then it's going to proceed to completely delete that. I'm going to do that in red because it's angry. The problem is we're not updating these pointers to point at the new value, right? It only points at that old value. There we go. So because it's not pointing to the new one, these now look like they're pointing at valid pointers that have all been deleted. That's not the case. It's pointing at old information that isn't valid anymore. So what we need to do, and I need to think about this, I need to figure out what I'm doing to fix it. Um, so one way to do this is double pointers, right? Right now this is cell, whoop. why do you want to be all, no, we, we want there. So one thing right now is these are all cell pointers or not cell pointers, these are vertex pointers. So point 2D pointers. What we could do is we could say, eh, they're double pointers. And then instead of allocating this as an array of point 2Ds, we'd say, eh, they're point 2D pointers instead. That's one fix. Um, Hmm. Trying to think if there's a better way to do this. Double pointers flying everywhere is not my idea of a good time. Um. I don't know. Double the pointers. Double the fun. Yeah, that's not really how it works in programming, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But it works so well for those green twins. Green. Yeah, the double mint pearls. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. Um, so how do I fix this? Because this, as is, clearly isn't going to fly. Um, keep messing with my hair. I honestly should stop. Um, <laughs> on the upside, I finally understand why any code that uses stored pointers in these arrays are going to continue to be a pain in the ass because the moment one of these arrays changes sizes that's gonna hurt now one thing I could do <laughs> and this is the dumbest idea I've had in a long time um, let's see here um, inside where is it inside cell group no uh, inside the cell system itself, what we could do is say uh, the vertex array is of size 128 or something. Like we can make it reserve so much space it never needs to resize. Um, that's not a good idea though. That's not a good way around this. Especially since uh, a cell system can hold an arbitrary number, we would eventually roll over and then all of this would break all over again. 
Cells, vertices. So yeah, I kind of went over pointers earlier. They have a lot of different uses. Um, the biggest thing is that um, dynamic allocation allows you to do some really cool stuff. Uh, it allows you to pass things around. It allows you to keep uh, memory off the stack because the stack has a limited size as opposed to your heap, which is slower but larger. Um, okay, so the cell system pointers, right? This should, and then obviously this is gonna complain every spot that I use that. Um, specifically, oh, because everywhere I pass it, oh, also cell edge pointers. Uh, and the map is fine. Look. <laughs> cell pointer, cell pointer. I'm gonna have to fix those. And then the vertex list, the edge list. And those are the only places I see that. Okay. And then we start at the... Let's start at the top here and just fix them all. Um, cell edge pointer. <laughs> Um, which means you should be deallocating, or not deallocating, dereferencing. You're a pointer, and you're a pointer, and <laughs> uh, cell vertices comes from here. Find element. Oh gosh, um, we have to do a find element by pointer now, and that's not going to work. <sighs> so we can't just find element in here anymore. We have to do we have to write our own find element, don't we? Yeah, because it's going to want to compare by pointer. Um, where's my game util class? This this feels like something that should go in a utility class. Um, although, you know what? For now, let's just get this done. So, I'll move this to a utility class, like, t later tomorrow or something. Later tomorrow. Just tomorrow. Just forget I said later. Um, uh, find element... Uh, let's see here. Int find element c4 array of shite. Um, template class name t. Oh, but this is going to want to be in a header file somewhere because it's going to also end up being. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I really can't win right now. Um, just give up. Well, not give up, but just. I'm almost done though. I know what's wrong and if I, I swear if I step away from the computer I'll forget it. Okay. What are you making? Nothing. You're making cookies. No. I guess you didn't buy any Girl Scout cookies, so. I'm not making cookies. What are you making then? Nothing. Brownies. Maybe. I see brownies. Oh, brownies. Alright, um... Yeah, she is. <laughs> she did just say just give up, yes. But it, it was a, she meant a different kind of just give up. She meant a take a break kind of give up, not a like, nope, project out the window, we're done. Screw it. Um, yeah, just try to give up about like, bunnies and rainbows. That would still run into this problem, oddly enough. No, 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 don't write this part of it. Just write like the bunnies and rainbows part. Okay, um... Array helper. I don't know. I love you. <laughs> Alright, uh, <laughs> throw in the towel, brownies are more important. 
priorities, right? I'm trying to make a game, but brownies, damn. I think I'm beat. Uh, all right. <laughs> Int, uh, let's see here. Template class T. Um, let's see here. Find in pointer array. Something, find in, yeah, we'll figure something out. We'll, uh, C4 array of T pointers. Um, and this will be a constant reference we need. Array. Oh, A. <laughs> and uh, a T object. Mm. I mean, we could pass it a pointer as well, but we're just not going to be comparing the pointers. So we'll just uh, const t reference, uh, and we'll just call this instance. And uh, because this is a template, it's ending up in our header. Uh, specifically, let's see here. We want Uh, for int i equals zero, i is less than a dot get element count plus plus i. Uh, what we want to say is if, and then we have the return minus one for the fail case, if uh, if a i, if we dereference this and say if that equals instance return i and then this is going to end up actually being game utils come on you uh, find in pointer array specifically uh, what c4 point 2d uh, we need to pass it the vertex list and the object. Um, you are a pointer and you are a pointer. Whoops. Cell edge double pointer. What? Double pointer. Oh. <laughs> um. On the upside, I think, let's see here, we'd say new cell edge, and we just have the current contents of this. We can get rid of that stupid initialize function. And this can bugger off. And then we say e equals edge list, edge list dot get element count minus one. Initializing cannot convert from a point 2D to a point 2D pointer. Ah, um, C4 point 2D. Oh god, there's a lot of places where I do this. Let's look for the add element instead. Uh, cell vertices would be new point 2D this, and we'll just copy construct it in. Okay. Now the new cell edge, new pointers. So this should work this time. Uh, let's just double check this, but I think this should now. We got the geometry list. We. Well, first off, I think we're already, yeah, we're already further than we were before. Um, object retain, what? <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, something about the fact that I'm not releasing everything correctly, I think. Let's see here, the cell material is getting grabbed and then released at the end.
object retained, where the object is created but not, we're talking about the material object, set material object A, oh do I have to set the material object for every, for every object in there as well, let's see here's our material array, Crap, really? <laughs> Every surface needs the same material, so we're just going to add it a shit ton of times, I guess. Um, <laughs> ha ha, look at that. <laughs> now, this uh, isn't exactly what I had in mind when I said I was going to rewrite the terrain. In fact, um, I'm actually kind of curious why I've got a 3x3 three three grid going on, but it's it's a start, right? Where the, the crashing has stopped. That's the thing that matters. <sighs> and not only has the crashing stopped, we can see output. <laughs> That's an important sucker right there. Uh, build terrain. Create cell group. Each cell group is creating its own nodes. It's just missing that, that little something. Cell position. Let's just make sure cell position is changing. Cell position, okay, cell position looks good there, and then there, and there. Okay, so the cell position is changing. And each of them has their own vertex list. So the first one says that its vertices are going to be, I should actually just do this all at once. Okay. And this is its vertices without, let's see, this is its vertices without taking into mind its position. Minus 0.75, oh, come on, 0.5, so the vertices are getting set correctly, it looks like. <laughs> so the cell group is getting built and then inserted and now we've got this we've got this thing where we're generating all of our vertices and then setting them based on their center or the cell groups center um, I don't think this is right for one uh, number two Two. Let's just see if that changes anything at all. Nah, no. In fact, it, it does quite the opposite. Um, oh, and it's because somewhere in... Where is it? Uh, somewhere in Generate Mesh, we're actually using the center as the offset. So that's correct. See, what's funny is if like the terrain size were that and that was one, I think this would look right, oddly enough. 
Yeah. So it works for a resolution of one. Um, the problem is when I jump to a resolution of two, the size is increasing, but I'm not seeing the the meshes that are getting generated do anything more. Right? We say create cell group, and when we say generate mesh, we should see the group. Let's see, how many cells? It says there are four cells per this one group. Okay. And it goes through and appends each cell. So it's not like we're... It's not like we're doing anything bizarre. Especially since at the end of this whole thing... There it is, copying all the data into the right place. And then it appends the polygon to the list. Uh, so when I do finally get around to sound effects, yes, I would like to do those myself if I can. If I have the 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 money and the right sound effects guy i might go so far as to pay somebody to do that but honestly something like sound effects um for a first pass on the like the alpha of the game that's something i don't mind having someone else do but eventually you know i will have uh you know i i'm being very optimistic here i'm saying uh, yes, not only will I finish the game, I'll have money to hire somebody and do this. Uh, and it'll be worth it for me to do that, because this game's going to go on Steam, and... Um... Oh, hello. Are you what's causing me trouble? Geometry count. <laughs> uh, cell count. <laughs> A number. It's causing me trouble. Oop. Build generic geometry object. Okay, so I may have actually... Uh, I thought... Let's see here. What does this mean? Uh, nope, nope, nope. Geometry count. Oh, that's not the right one, though. Uh, I am looking at... Okay, level count... Followed by build flags. What I want is something more like this. <laughs> the problem is this doesn't allow me to put a material array into place. Also, this looks like it wants a geometry pointer, and this is a list of geometry surfaces that it's going to put together. Excuse me. I'm going to go get the oven. We always uh, liken my oven to the Earl of Lemon Grab. Just kind of <laughs> as it gets angrier and angrier at things. Get to that point? Oh, okay, cool. Um, well, I'll keep you in mind, King Elizabeth. It might definitely be nice to, you know, I, I will be looking for a sound person. 
Granted, um, I have a good friend who's doing a lot of sound stuff. He might also be overburdened, though, at the moment with all of his other contracting jobs. So, you know, I, I definitely will keep you in mind. That's really nice to know that I have uh, artists and sound folks in chat who are willing to uh, lend a hand for, of, of course, getting paid. I wouldn't dare not pay you for your work. <laughs> yes, Lemon Grab is an awesome character. Um... Okay, so, where was that? Okay, this, this thing, um, so, level count, surface list, material array, skin data, and build flags. I'm curious about these build flags, firstly. Maybe there's something in here that I can use. So let's look into EngineForms API documentation. Specifically, I want the generic geometry. I'll pull this over here so you guys can see it as well. Come on, search, do your thing. Generic geometry, I love it, it's not in here. <laughs> Gener oh, nope, there it is, okay. And it doesn't have any of its constructors in here. <laughs> Great. Well, let's see. Maybe we can just watch it and, and have an idea of what happens, or maybe does someone else use it in such a way that it has all of its build flags in there? It would be nice, right, if somebody else used it with all the correct information. Hey Jess, mm -hmm. I pulled the brownies for you. I left the oven on just in case. Okay. So if you're done with it, How yeah. How long ago? A couple minutes. Mm, they're not done yet. Oh, back in they go. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry, I took so long. No problem. Uh, surface table, material, right? skin data, build geometry. Really? Does nobody use these like? Random build flag. Okay. <laughs> this is so bizarre. Uh, okay, the build flags get passed into the generic geometry object, which actually we saw that existed in the APIs. So maybe it will tell. No, it's not going to tell us that either. Um, da da bump bump. Geometry count you are the one I want to see specifically because what? <laughs> okay, one of these somewhere has these build flags. I'm trying to hunt down who that is, but I don't see build flags here. Ah, build flags. What are you used for? Build geometry level. Okay, so this might be just standard geometry like build flags at this point. I say that as if I know what that means. Okay, K build mesh color. Optimize and weld. Okay, don't care about those flags. Those are meaningless to me. Um, so anyway, where I was, let's step through this. Uh, surface count is here while surface so there's the first surface okay so the surfaces are coming through set material count one and then we set the object who has a surface count of four is that correct? Yeah, four, four nodes. That makes perfect sense. And I accidentally stepped over it. Surface count is four. So we grab the data. 
of each one, and we push them into this. What are we even doing? Material index and the surface data is going into. Okay. And then we build the geometry of the only level that exists. And we're not handing it that information anywhere, but it looks like that information is getting set. So there's one surface, two, three, and four. So there's our four surfaces. This is happening for all of them, so it's not like any of these are getting left out. And then, okay, so, eh, looks fine. Looks like it should be generating all the right data. Obviously it's not. Um, hmm. The node position's fine. The geometry flags we said is dynamic. That doesn't hurt. And then... We append the new subnode, which fills in a lot more data. Oh, but look at this world axis. That's not good. Also, its world center is kind of garbage. I wonder if that's only because it hasn't been put into the world yet, though. Ah, oh, man. Like, I'm so freaking close, but... <laughs> something about this is not ticking. I have a feeling like this happens a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, the lemon grab oven strikes again. <laughs> I like that little oven. Hey, he's, he's a good lemon. Unacceptable! Really what? It works really well. It cooks things. Oh, yeah, no. I just, it makes me want to, like, attach a lemon grab nose to the oven every time it does that. <laughs> Why? It's just a timer. Because it just, it has that same, like, build up and then screaming noise. <laughs> Boy. Gonna happen again. Okay. Whew. We've got the cells. They are generating the data. Let's try not putting it all into the same mesh first. Let's see if it's part of the way we're generating the data. So instead of this, all I'm going to do is... <clears throat> Didn't mean to delete that. All I'm going to do is that. And then inside of the cells generate mesh call. Um, hmm. This data has to go, or this function has to go somewhere. Um, oh, wait. <laughs> I did this all wrong. Uh, you are fine. You. This data all continues to exist in here. <clears throat> wow, my voice is starting to get hoarse. I've been talking a lot today. Uh, what I need to do is take this and shift it in here. And then take all of this and shift it in here as well. So every single cell is getting put into the list separately. Messy, ugly, unhappy, but, um, am I doing something stupid? What is going wrong? <laughs> Through, we generate the mesh, we add the element. Oh, cell count is, this is still one. That was incorrect.
Okay. So on the upside, if there is one to be found, there is not any problem with the code and where it currently exists. The problem exists somewhere somewhere inside this generate mesh call, I'm assuming. Let's see, we're allocating a certain number of vertices and then we fill in all those vertices and then all the edges and sides and all that data and then we tell it build geometry surface and it returns to us a single geometry surface with all the right flags and all the right things set which should then land us in not here where is it um this lands us back in here and appends that to the list. And let's see here, if we look at the vertices, just to double check that these are also getting set correctly, because they may not be. Um, but now that looks fine. Minus 0.25, minus 0.25. And if we look at vertices, zero. Oop, hello. Oh, but minus the center. Because remember, we're offsetting it all by the center. Ooh. But the cells are not getting offset by their own. Okay. Something to start with. It's it's a, a hope, it's a an idea. So we're going to remove the center offset, because before we were taking each uh, vertex, generating it at essentially 0, 0, and then offsetting each individual cell to its own spot. And so we're generating them all on top of each other, I think. Uh, and then we're proceeding to not, to not do anything. Um, so I need to pass in a point 2D that is our um, the group offset, I guess is what I need to pass in. Mm. There we go, minus the group group offset. And this is a constant reference. <laughs> Hi dog. All right. And then the cell, cell edge, cell, where is it? Generate mesh, that's not void, that's that. Um, Okay, generate mesh. And now it's going to complain that generate mesh doesn't take the zero arguments, which is true. It takes the center. And then we offset it again by the center. And it crashes. <laughs> uh, what are you complaining about now? Did I muck something up in this? No, that looks fine. Oh, cell count needs to be one. Derp. Derp, derp, derp. There we go. Woo! Okay. <laughs> and, um, let's just take this and, uh, let's get some final changes in here. Specifically, let's make it take the full terrain size into account, and we should be hunky dory and done for now so you can tell that the uh, the elevations aren't kicking in yet and that's fine um, this is kind of a, a you can see the noise at least showing off what height should exist we can keep messing with this expand it outwards make it uh, crazy uh, Novio uh, the difference between a header file and a, a uh, CPP file is that the CPP files are the ones that are getting actually compiled Header files only get included at the very beginning, and uh, what pound include does this like pound include up here? It essentially includes the entire contents of that header file and dumps it into the top of this file. So everything that's like defined inside here is all getting 
inserted right here in place of this line inside the compiler is what it's doing. Uh, the difference is that uh, other than the, the fact that one's getting compiled and the other isn't, header files tend to uh, contain declarations so that uh, the compiler will know something will exist and then the CPP files hold what's called the definition which tells you what the function actually does. So the, the header file will say, oh, this function exists, and here's what its uh, signature looks like. And then the definition will come through and say, so here's that function with that specific uh, signature. Here's what it does. Here's all the commands that it executes. OK. Um, da -dump -dump -dump. So the game world is set. The world generation is close to being set. We need to take this size into account this range needs to be, let's see here, range min y Apollo. Stop it, please. Uh, range dot max dot y. Uh, that might need to be a less than or equal to, let's, I'll, I'll think about that. Over. Okay, so this allows the world file to now specify size, which you can now see size is getting set, <laughs> and you can see some of the uh, the skirts being pushed down accidentally. In fact, if we look at the wireframe, you'll see all the skirts are down here somewhere. They're just not um, they're not getting correctly generated. So inside this generate mesh. Um, this function here, I notice that the skirts are still accidentally getting offset. Um, so the verts need to be... Where is it? Uh, minus the group offset, not my center. Okay, that looks like the last one, I hope. Oh, that one actually should be fine as is. Yes, uh, pet named Apollo, specifically after both uh, Apollo the Captain Apollo, the fight, the, not the fighter pilot, the raptor pilot, and also, uh, what was it, uh, Dignitas Apollo. The StarCraft player also gave me some inspiration, so yeah. Alright, so let's get this elevation on these fixed, and then we can call this complete. Um, specifically, where are they? These zeros. Um, elevation. And this zero here. Elevation. There we go. So we're still, we're back to almost exactly where we were. Hello. <laughs> it looks like some of the skirts aren't getting generated correctly still. Uh, wire. Can I see them anywhere? No, they're just, they just don't exist. Also, these two look incredibly broken. I need to figure out what's going on with these. Hmm. So we're not back to 100% of where we were. We're pretty darn close, but some of the skirts are damaged. Not the end of the world, but it's still a pain. Um... Minus group offset. Da -dum -dum. Um, let's see here. Why would some of these be broken? Uh, from one center to the other, that's generating the normals, and that's fine. 
elevation, elevation differences. I guess... No, the group offset isn't going to muck with that either. Unless, unless our group node create cell group generate mesh nope you're zeros so since you're zeroed out that's not a problem what's great is we can now take oh lord uh, maybe not all of this, but, well, no. For now, all of it. We'll need to go back eventually and pick up some of this code. Uh, specifically, I guess, uh, let's see, cell edges, cell, let's see, neighbor count. Don't really care a ton about that. Random point in cell is going to be something that's important to us. So we'll want to keep that around. Uh, is point in cell is also important to us. Same with uh, get area is less important, but um, let's see, find valid lower neighbors also somewhat needed. Uh, the cell system constructor and destructor don't care, don't care, don't care. Get cell, get vert, all this other stuff. Like, we can just tear so much of this out. Cell edge. Okay. So this is kind of all that we want left. So we have the A star pathfinding that we wrote a long time ago. Um, yeah. Yeah. We've got some other stuff, but for the most part, the big th the big things that we care about are kind of taken care of. So the only thing left are these stupid skirts. <laughs> Something about them is mucked up. Um, what's funny is some of them look like they're fine, too. Let's just double check that. But it did look like some of these skirts were just perfectly fine. Um, right? Like this side and this side. Nope, but here's some damaged ones. Interesting. Okay. What the heck happened to your mountains? Ah, uh, they they got a little boost. <laughs> a little. So this is bizarre. Oh, and if you look at, okay, is that really just a trick of the, not light, so to speak. Sorry guys, incoming. Leave it, Apollo. I really need to get that uh, noise gate working. Okay, um, so the, the thing I'm going to point out is if you look at this, let's set the time of day back to something reasonable. So if you look at this polygon right here, you'll notice that this edge here is broken, right? It's not quite generating this correctly. And it's this, these two sides that seem to be damaged the most because if you look through at each of these ooh, brownies and warm and gooey too oh. Ah. Oh, hot. did you put hazelnut in this too no i did not really really what's in this this tastes different from normal brownies it's because it's not a normal brownie it's organic ugh it's organic no wonder shut up <laughs> Thank you. It's a brownie. Eat it. And it's a personal size brownie. Hmm. It's portion control. Have to. 
<laughs> oh, okay. So, um... Here's one problem. Before we were doing things, um... Based on relative stuff, instead of the absolutes. So one thing we can do... Is that going to fix it all? Oh, that looks like it did it. Okay, so it just looked like we were accidentally putting them a little too far down. I'm looking around for other bugs. Uh, I'm noticing this didn't get generated. This one right here. Probably enough I'm not seeing any others. Unless, no, this looks like it also didn't get generated. Crap. Yeah, so we're close. It looks like some of them on this side are still not getting created. Well, that was the worst of them. <laughs> um, what else might be going wrong? So we've got elevation-based errors. Or one thing. Huh. <laughs> Minus mid height, yada yada. So this looks fine as well. I mean, I would honestly expect it to be somewhere in here. Something about the way in which we're messing with the, the vertices based on the group offset. Except that I'm not really noticing any crazy things that we're doing to, to mess with it. All right, the top surface looks correct. We're using elevation, group offset, and vertices I. <laughs> and then if we look at the triangles so my one thought here was that um, we're not sorting the vertices correctly so that when we're generating some of the triangles we're actually generating them uh, backwards so to speak I wonder if I had a different sort going on somewhere in here. Um, let's look at heh, paint. This is this is such a lovely display of exactly what's wrong, but it's done in such a like I don't know. It just makes me happy to have figured that one out. It, that was a big thing, and I was really afraid I wouldn't be able to get past that tonight. Uh, Alright guys, I'm going to cut myself off in 15 minutes, um, whether or not I find this bug or not. Um, if only because I've been at this for probably the better part of, let's see, I started at, <laughs> I started at 2, I think. So I've almost put in an 8 hour day on this. Oof. <laughs> um, I'll take any questions before I sign off, you know, 15 minutes or so left. Um, I'm going to keep poking at this too for a little bit longer. I think I know what's going wrong, but I don't exactly know how to fix it quite yet. So, um, we'll keep poking. Um, but yeah, how it goes. How it goes some days. Um, for those of you who are watching for the first time too, this is, uh, me completely rewriting my terrain. If you want to see what I work on normally, I would say go to the YouTube channel and look up one of the not-so-recent ones, one of the ones where I add in an actual feature or a graphical effect. 
those are more like what this uh, development process is going to be like once the big pieces of the puzzle get glued into place. Um, and so really for now, um, you're just seeing a lot of large systems get created, but I'm going to at some point go in and start creating a bunch of smaller systems too. For example, uh, the next large system after this is going to be setting up state machines for AI. Uh, but then after that, once I've got the AI in place, it'll be worth my time to make a bunch of little AI modules and then have those be accessible to the player as something he can assign. So he can say, okay, you should go out here and then scout this area. And when you're done scouting the area, come home and report your findings. Something like that is really what I want is my end product. Uh, Armadillo Pants, unfortunately, unless I find a job between now and GDC that is willing to kind of sponsor my, uh, my trip, uh, it tends to be prohibitively expensive for somebody who isn't employed to go to GDC. And uh, I don't know, I guess if I still don't have a job, it might be worth my time to go to GDC. Um, what are the ticket prices like this year? I'm really curious. They, Like I said, they tend to be absurd. Uh, granted, if I don't have a job by the beginning of... Well, no, not having a job by the beginning of March might not be the end of the world still. Um, ticket prices. Regular ticket prices. It is $2,000 for an all-access pass. Normally, uh, if you go with a company they will get you uh, something like an expo pass, which is 250, or a main conference pass, which is 1400. I, I don't, it's just not really doable for me to dump almost a thousand bucks on something that may or may not pay off in terms of getting me the networking and jobs I require. Um, luckily for me, I live close enough, so for me, it's not a big problem. Um, I didn't know they had a California program. What is that? Oh, the Conference Associates program. Right, 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 right. Um, I'm tempted to, actually. Maybe I should try that. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, Krawafik asks, microtransactions? No. Uh-uh. Not doing it. No. I think it ruins a lot of experiences. Either you pay for the game or you don't. If Either you pay for the DLC or you don't. Microtransactions are just... No. I, I think they're really, really like the, the spawn of the devil in the games industry, personally. Um, oh, it is too late to sign up? Well, that's what I get. I thought I would have a job when March rolled around, and... As of last week, that changed. So, whoops. <laughs> How it goes. Um, let's see here. Create cell group. Yada, yada. What was I looking for? Oh, I was looking for the reason why skirts weren't generating correctly. Specifically in the generate mesh. So part of me wonders if maybe I shouldn't try sorting every single vertex in the array. Just run a giant sort on everything and see if that helps. Um, I mean, I've, I've done it before. <laughs> also not the worst thing I've ever done. Let's see here. GDC is the Game Developer Conference. If anything, I would go not for the Game Developer Conference, but for the uh, the non-conference next door. Uh, they tend to run a, uh, a non-existent, well, they, they call it like the Not Conference or something, in kind of a protest to the prices of GDC, where anybody can come up and uh, give various talks on game design and game programming. The unfortunate part that I've also heard about it is that nobody really takes it seriously. So somebody, uh, since anyone can walk up and do anything and it counts as a talk, 
uh, people will go up and just, like, play the Pokemon theme song and just stand there as it plays and then leave the moment the song's over uh, instead of actually giving, like, real talks. And unfortunately, that's, like, 75% of the content there is, like, people stepping up onto the podium, dicking around, and then leaving, which for me kind of ruins the whole thing. If I were to actually go up there and try and give a real talk to see that the person who came before me is, you know, some guy who's going to tell you about, like, every move of Magikarp and why it's the best thing ever to have been included in a game, and then to have the next person come up, play We Are the Champions on his, like, MP3 player, and then just, like, walk off and not even say a word the whole time. Um, I, I don't even want to waste my time if that's what one of these is going to be like. Um... You know, if anything, I'd go and talk about, like, my experiences on Twitch or something. But, um, once again, I, I really don't want to waste my time if I don't expect anyone else to give, um, valuable talks either. I don't know. We shall see. We'll see. As it gets closer, I'm curious to see what the, the non-con, uh, or, like, the anti-conference, whatever they call themselves. I'll be interested in seeing what they have. Uh, random point and cell. What? Uh, there was a sort here somewhere. That's what I was hunting for. Sort. Vertices. <laughs> really? Oh, cell. But that's within a cell. Um, I guess I could just apply the same thing to the entire graph. So, we're just gonna go into the cell system. So, also, one thing to note is, um, where is it? So everything, let's see, pound include terrain generation. Uh, we can now probably pretty safely remove this file from everything. Oh, except for itself. Okay, so nothing's broken yet. So now we're going to go so far as to take this terrain generation set and just expunge them from the project. It still runs, right? We now have nothing linked to that file. The other thing to keep in mind is that, remember, I was talking about the fact that I had, I think, 500 lines of code before. Let's just double check this. Beforehand, I had 510 lines of code. The new file... And you know you're doing something right when this is the case. The new file is 200... The new file's, yeah, about 200 lines of code less than the original. And yet it performs not just the same function, but it performs the same function a lot more efficiently than the old one. So already we've got one netwin going on here. We'll see if that continues, but I definitely think it should. I don't see any reason why it would because we've still got some more cleanup to do, and we've still got some more stuff to remove as well. Um, so I'll probably end up adding another 60 or 80 lines, but still, that's 100 lines of code we've straight up expunged from the project for the same amount of functionality. Okay. Uh, generate mesh, yada, yada, yada. Um, I'm trying to think of... Oh, right. <laughs> what I was doing. <laughs> My brain just keeps kind of... It's starting to shut off. That's when you tell... You can tell. I should just say, screw it, and step away from the keyboard. Um, and honestly, I will in a moment. Thank you guys again for joining me. You all have been fantastic. Especially uh, Chakma, La La Land, uh, all of you who have been helping me with the code. I deeply appreciate it. Um, and really would like to, once again, express my gratitude to um, just all of you who are here. And also just to give an extra shout out. Um, what was it? It was uh, Urban Mango, Chakma, and um, oh, one more. One more person who donated earlier. I just want to say thank you time and time again um, for the unnecessary but still appreciated financial help. Where's the other name? Spam Sack. There we go. That's the other one. So thank you again to those three for those donations. They are um, incredibly useful and they will go towards the game eventually. I promise. Just uh, 
I have to get to the point where I feel the need to actually hire somebody first. Uh, neighbor cell, okay, there's a sort function in here that I want. Sort vertices. Let's just take you. Uh, and I want to go through the, let's see, there shouldn't be any subtraction here, just this. This, this should not be vertices. This should be just um, vertex array. And we need some more dereferencing, as always. Never too much dereferencing. Okay, and instead of from four, we need to go to vertex array, get element count. All right, looks good. I build it once more. Uh, oh, I'm not actually calling sort vertices anywhere. Uh, after, let's just, where do I call create cell group? Graph sort vertices, just for kicks. See if this helps. It may, it may not. Chugga lugga lugga, come on. Uh. Okay. I'm still seeing the issue. Yes, please. Okay, so the sort didn't fix anything. So we'll have to think on that a little bit more. I'll figure something out. Uh, let's just pull the code that's not doing anything out, just so we don't leave any extra garbage in. All right. Thanks guys again for joining me. I think it is time for me to sign off. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, if you have not followed me yet, I urge you to, if only because it's great to have more of you here. Uh, not for your own, you know, not just for my benefit, but also for everyone else in chat hanging around. Uh, so thank you again, and I hope the rest of you have a uh, good rest of your day. Take care.